Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. We also have a vlogging channel in case you guys are interested. Fanny and Jesse 2.0, and you can find other links of the other stuff we do in the box below description box below so yeah so today i'm going to be acting to um amid did that i think i haven't done amid did that in a while now or maybe weeks i'm not even sure but anyway i'm excited to see what this video is about hope i learn something new and and i hope you guys learn something new as well so without wasting time let's get into the video Is the Bible really the word of God? Truly the word of God? Now in any dispute, any confrontation, any case, legal, criminal, theological, the first thing they do is to identify the witnesses or the exhibits. So in this case, since we are talking about the Bible, I have brought with me here some Bibles. We would like to know which Bible are we talking about? Generally people say there's only one Bible. Generally people think there's only one Bible. But here I show you this little book here. This is the Holy Bible. It is called the Reims or the Douay version of the Roman Catholics. Brother Stanley, do you accept this as the word of God? It says the Holy Bible. Do you accept it? That's number one. Number two, I have here with me the Schofield Reference Bible. The Reverend Schofield, backed by eight DDs, Doctors of Divinities, they produced this Bible. This is based on the King James Version. Are we talking about this Bible, Roman Catholic Bible, or this Protestant Bible? <laughs> this one here, I went before coming over, I bought a Swedish Bible. This is also based on the King James Version. Is this Bible we are talking about? Then I have here, Siamese twins, as you see, identical, identical Bibles, look at them, you can't mistake their identity, they are identical, both say revised standard version, revised standard version, out of these two, one is 1952 and one is 1971, which one would you accept as the word of God? So we have to identify, if you can help me, he said, look, I accept the RSV, or I accept only the Swedish Bible, I only accept the King James Version, or I accept the Roman Catholic Bible, then we can proceed. Otherwise, we don't know which Bible are we talking about, because these are all different Bibles. By God, they are not the same. Even these twins are not the same. They may look like Siamese twins, but they are not. So if I have the privilege of knowing, it will make it easy, my task easier to proceed with the Bible which the pastor accepts as the word of God, out of all these. Which one? Sir? Yes. Which one, sir? out of these. I'll answer you when I get the time for myself because I have a very good answer. Thank you. Okay, sir. <laughs> I have discovered that uh, the Quran has different kind of translations following exactly the same principle as when the Bible has been translated. I can prove that reading from this one that was translated by Abdullah Yusuf Ali, 
And reading from this one that we bought in Lahore, Pakistan, translated by Mulana Muhammad Ali. You know, I must take off my hat to Pastor Stanley. I must take off my hat. You know, beautifully, he has beautifully evaded answering the questions. Beautiful. And he has had us all tentalized with this oratory. And I tell you, give him another clap for that. Give him a clap. For that. It is, it is really difficult, you see, when an orator is pouring out his thoughts, is full of knowledge, this thing, that thing, and he's catching us, he's holding us there, so we fail to realize that the man is not answering the problems. The first question, if you remember, now I want you to remind you. And if you have a chance, buy this videotape, buy the tape, and at, at home, when you will be able to listen to both the speakers again and again, you'll be able to see, you know, what the game is being played. You'll be able to catch the joke then, better than while you're listening now. You're too much involved in this discussion at the moment. The very first question I asked was to identify the witness, if you remember. In any case, any court case, if you fail to do that, the judge would stop you in your stride. They said, stop it. Identify your witnesses. And that's the first question I asked. Here are the witnesses. The exhibits. The Roman Catholic Bible. Do you accept this as the word of God? These twins I showed you. Do you accept them as the word of God? This Schofield's Bible. Do you accept them? Do you accept this as the word of God? But he says, no, I will answer in my time. His time, he had full time, 60 and more minutes, that you know. And the question is still not answered. I will, I will answer. Now, let me tell you the reason why he couldn't answer. He knew, he knows. Any learned man knows that this is not simply a question of translation. You see, when he spoke about the Qur'an, there are different translations of the Qur'an by different people. Different people have a different choice of words. For the same thing, use different terminology to express the same thing. This is, every translator has a right. But a version is quite a different thing from a translation. I explain to you, simple, you see, this Roman Catholic Bible has got 73 books inside. True or false, Professor? True. 73. The book that you are using, the authorized King James Version is the basis of that book that you have there, has got 66 books. Difference of seven. This book, the Roman Catholic Bible, preceded yours, the Protestant Bible. It had seven extra books. You threw it out, the Protestant world threw it out. The book of Maccabees, the book of Judith, the, the book of Tobias. Seven books you threw out from what your canon as the word of God. In other words, you do not accept the Roman Catholic Bible per se as the word of God. Because there are seven more books in here than what you have in your Bible. This is what you ought to have explained to the people. Why don't you accept this book as God's word? I will tell you. Ya ahlal kitab qad jaakum rasooluna yubaynu lakum kathira يبين لكم كثيرا مما كنتم تخفون من الكتاب ويعفو عن كثير قد جاءكم من الله نور وكتاب مبين
Come Allah, here we come to serve you, here we come, no partner do you have, all praise to you, the universe is yours, here we come Allah, here we come. The video ended right when he said he was going to answer and yes, seeing he still didn't answer. But for the first time I've actually heard someone say but the Quran has been translated by different people. Well what does that mean? Because Amid that is saying even if it's translated by different people, people have the right to have their own terminology used when translating these. So the, do the number of chapters in these in the Quran remain the same? And also, when you think of terminology, anything can stand. What other people are saying, that was maybe straight up slaughter. Someone is going to say it was um, self-defense. So doesn't that also mean it's a version? It's the way you're telling the story that makes it a version or something. Let me know. Otherwise, um, at least he brought up something new to my attention. Let me know what you guys actually know about the Quran being translated by different people and if these translations make a very big difference. Or at the end of the day, are saying it's still the Quran, it's still the same thing. I'm sure they mean the same thing. I don't know. You guys, let me know. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe and please educate me on what this debate was all about. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.